Hello, collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. Guys, I'm going to do uh, one last reading of the night before I go to bed, right? This is a late night reading for you all. I got to say the energy out there, you know, I'm feeling a couple of different things before we get started. I'm feeling like your energy feels really good, um, I, I have to say. You can maybe sense that something is about to happen, like something's coming. But other than that, I feel like you guys are enthusiastic about your future. You're very energetic. You've got your energy back. You're, you're balanced. So, um, you know, instead of working nonstop, right, you're taking time for yourself. You're taking time to get things done um, aside from work and rest. You're balancing a lot of different areas of your life right now and new things coming up that you may be um, needing to take care of, you know, new blessings, right? So yeah, I feel like your energy is really good. It feels really good. Um, very excited about what's happening in the future, right? But behind the scenes collective, <laughs> It is a flipping mess. It is. It's a mess. Um, I'm getting all kinds of stuff of people doing some um, last minute, like sending you bad juju. People are jealous. You're, the masculines are waking up and um, trying to gather as much information on you as possible. Um, I, and, you know, some of them are still stuck and going through just the worst time of their life okay um it's just it's a lot of cr there's craziness and meanwhile we've got a spiritual battle going on at the same time so um you're you're going to be like um, meeting new spirit guides and um getting more downloads heightened abilities i mean we're all kind of everything the energy is just kind of crazy right now I gotta say, it, it kind of feels like we're in the eye of the storm, um, but you can feel the storm all around you. It's, I don't know how to quite put it. But anyway, this reading is for the collective. We're gonna see what comes out tonight. I really just wanna check your person's energy. Um, yeah, just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay, don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of the support, the likes, subscribes, comments. You guys are just, you're fantastic to me. Thank you so much for everything. All right, so Divine, <laughs> what messages do you have for the collective tonight? Messages for the collective. Oh, high Priestess energy. I feel like there's a person who's kind of really upset here, okay? You could be dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're really upset. Um, I get the sense that um, they're either upset because you're not giving them your attention or they could be getting tarot card readings and finding out that you've got, like, you may have a new love offer here. Um, clarify this. Thank you. Yeah, you've got a new emperor coming into the picture here, and they're really upset about it. Yeah, they're watching you. I feel like they're watching tarot. If you look at this here, this, this page of swords is facing towards this high priestess. I feel like they're watching a lot of tarot card readings out here on YouTube, maybe. That's the feeling I'm getting. And they're finding out that you've got new love coming in and it happens to be an emperor. There's, there's no way that they can compete with an emperor. And this person is just like sitting here, angry, being quiet. Maybe this is somebody who was nasty to you in the past, said some harsh things. Um, I, just, I just feel like uh, they're angry because they didn't get off their butt and come in and make some things right. Okay? They didn't make some things right. Yeah, you've got new love coming in. This is what they're hearing about. This person is mad. They're mad. How dare you move on, right? Yeah. You have new love coming in, and it's it's going to be an emperor. Some of you have already met this new love. I, I kind of get the sense that this person... Um, 
maybe they played you in the past and now they want to apologize but i'm really feeling like even if they apologize now right even if they did come in and apologize, I don't think you're going to be looking at that apology like it's a fish in the cup because this person, I feel, played you in the past. You know, maybe they took advantage of you at a time when you were in a struggle, vulnerable, right? Maybe they didn't think that your ideas, your creative ideas were ever going to pay off. Or maybe they thought that you had nothing to bring to the table. They saw you as somebody who may be wearing peasant clothing forever. All right, so yeah, they played you. They took advantage of you in a vulnerable time. And for that, I, I feel like, you know, and, and the way they cut you out was, was cold and harsh. You know, I don't like the swords. I don't like the swords people because they, they're very unfeeling, okay? They are. They're cold. They're nasty. You, you you can't really teach them anything new because they don't they think they're always right that could have been the kind of person you were dealing with okay they're in that king of swords energy if they don't have to be a, a an air sign um but yeah you needed love and this person didn't give you love all they gave you was like using you in and out energy and being nasty okay so you're looking down at this cup here. If they were to offer you an apology, it may not be enough after what they put you through, you know? And it's almost like it's not convincing. I want to say that this little cup, this little cup is not going to be convincing enough when you know this person is kind of an a-hole. Okay, I got to say, I, I feel like that's how they've been with you and other people in the past. Just rigid, cold, nasty. Okay, and here you are loving, the most loving queen in, in the deck. All you had to, I feel like maybe all you had to give this person at the time was love, but it was the best love they were ever going to find. And I feel like they betrayed you. They were really nasty. They didn't give you any love. They just gave you cold nastiness and a wand. Now this person's in a lot of regret because they see, you know what? Um, they could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. And I feel like everything that you worked for here is about to pay off. Those seeds that you planted in the past, you know, when you were struggling wanting to maybe create something for yourself here, it's about to pay off. You could very well already be in the Ten of Pentacles energy. But yeah, this person sees you as somebody that they would want to commit to now. But the fact of the matter is, is they don't give you any cups. Like, they don't. They don't give you love. And you're, um, you know, you're somebody who needs love not a not a sword and to be used okay so i feel like you're you know even like i said even if they did come and give you an apology now would it be enough would you believe them because i feel like there's something about this person giving you an apology that seems very it does it's not convincing it's just not convincing that they actually mean it okay that's the feeling I'm getting off of this person. So they're resorting to watching a whole lot of tarot. And they're finding out you're getting new love. And they're in a lot of regret for the way they treated you in the past. Okay. Um, you could be a Gemini, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on Pisces, um, heavy on Cancer as well. You could be dealing with a Virgo, um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Take it, how, or Sagittarius, maybe. All right, how is this person feeling? What are their emotions? Hopeful, 
Um, this person may be trying to send you text messages. Um, if you have this person blocked, you may not even see them. Maybe they're waiting to hear back from you. But even if they haven't sent you any messages, they're hopeful or they were hopeful that someday you would talk to them again, that they could maybe restart this. But I feel like it, the longer this goes on, the more desperate they feel. See, they start off being hopeful, but now they're just trying to hang on, you know, for dear life because they know that you're about to get new love. You're moving on, collective. Um, they may be desperate for, like, some kind of idea, right? Now they're the ones who are feeling vulnerable, <clears throat> admiring you for your strength, knowing that you are their match as well. This person could be trying to communicate with you telepathically, but I don't think it's working anymore. <clears throat> I don't know why, but I'm just, I'm needing to clear my throat. I feel like this person wants to talk, but you may not want to talk to them because they're so cold and harsh with their communication. They're really, they, and you can't tell them anything either. Okay. So, I mean, they're just, yeah. I, I feel like, you know what, this whole situation is very overwhelming to you. The things that they've said or the things that they do say are very overwhelming to you, okay? Um, I feel like it's just been a burden. It's just a burden that you're trying to carry at this point. So um, you're leaving this behind. Like I, I, I've been saying, you're very excited and enthusiastic about a new beginning here. Didn't I say that? I love this enthusiastic energy for you. You're, you're out here finally breaking free, healed, not heartbroken anymore, not worried about what this person has to say to you anymore. And um, you're living a life of peace. You know, that it's like this is the moment where you, you realize I'm over it. And that's something to celebrate. Uh -huh, as soon as I say that, I've got this coming out. <laughs> Yay, right? Um, yeah, this person could have seen you out and about. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of looks like they would pop up and surprise you, but they didn't. You know why? Because they still have their ego. Okay, they're angry. They're angry, right? Because you're not you're not talking to them. You're not paying attention to them, and they're finding out you're getting new love and moving on. They're upset about that. So I, if they saw you out and about, I don't think they would pop up on you. I don't, but I do think they've seen you walking around in public or maybe in a in a, at an event or something. That's, that's got them very depressed, man. They're panicking because you look good. You look good. You're happy. You're smiling. You're having a great time. And this is what's making them feel panicky, you know? This is why I, I feel like this person, there's no love in this. I, I feel like they just, I don't know. It's like they don't want to let you go or they don't want to lose, right? Right? But I'm not seeing really any love here besides the new love that's coming in for you. So I feel just you being out there, having a great time, um, being successful, happy, healed, right? The fact that you don't need this person and you're not, um, you're not a mess over them, right? You're not heartbroken over them anymore. That's what's got them. They're angry about that. There, and it, it says here, too, they, they may be fairly depressed about that or numbing. This person could be doing a lot of drinking, possibly a substance. If they're doing some kind of substance, I feel like it's getting out of control. It is. It's out of control. Okay, they're drowning in that. They need help. They may need to reach out for some help for any kind of, like, substance abuse, okay, or addictions, because it is getting really bad. So, yeah, I mean, this person, they still got, they have some toxicity. And um, I don't think you want that. I think you've moved on from that. You're over it. You're over it. And it's driving this person crazy. It is.
They can't handle it because they don't want to let go of that ego, you know? They don't want to give you any love. Honestly, this is one of those people, and I hate to say it, but this is one, sorry about that. This is one of those, um, this is the kind of person where they're not giving you any love right now, collective, because they don't want to. It's as simple as that. They don't want to. Why? Because you know what? If they broke down and actually showed you love, it would break this person's ego. And they refuse to let that happen. But they also don't want to see you happy either. Okay, so yeah, let's see what this person, do I even want to see what they have to say? Because, well, they are feeling very vulnerable right now, all right? Um, because they know they would have to come in and give you a, a, a good apology. They'd have to show you some kind of love. And I don't like the fact that maybe they're numbing and it's become um, out of control. But we'll see what they say here. I will take action soon. Please believe in me. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? Yeah, right? You are the one and only. Yeah. And they say that they love you, but I'm not seeing any love from this person. I got to say, I'm not. I'm seeing the fact that they want to win without losing their ego. Okay. Like, I kind of, I don't like this person's energy. Yeah. I think that you are better off without me. Yeah. But yet they hate this distance between us because it doesn't feel good. Yeah. I, I honestly, you know, they already know. I feel like they know they don't, they don't love you. And you are better off without them. They can see that. <laughs> That's why they're upset. They're angry because you are better off without them. I, I'm so sorry, Collected, because I know this person really broke your heart, you know. I feel like they really hurt you. But now that, you're, that, now that you've broken free from this connection, the pull that this person has on you, right? You've broken free and you can kind of look back and you can tell that you're over it. Okay? And I can see that I don't see any cups in this reading from your person, that's love, right? I don't see any of that except for this new person that's coming in. That's all. So you know what? You made it through a really difficult cycle, right? You've learned your lessons from this person, and you freed yourself from a really heavy, chaotic burden. Kudos to you, man. You know? And now you're in this beautiful energy where you don't need this person anymore, you're not focused on this person anymore, and you're free and living a peaceful life. You know, you made it through a really difficult last cycle, and this person, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't see your work, that's why. And they didn't want to let go of their ego. Anyway, collective, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.